Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11 and verse 2. And this is Luke's version of the Lord's Prayer. We find it back there in Matthew, kind of a similar thing. But let's look at how that we find it here. So we're going to look today at verse 2. Let's just read it. So he said to them, when you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. When we pray, there is a pattern. And a lot of times, you know, it's it, look what Jesus says, pray our Father in heaven. Some Somehow I hear parents and children sometimes praying to Jesus. And I don't think a bolt of lightning is going to come and strike them down for that. But you know what? The pattern that Jesus gives us is pray to the Father. Pray to the Father. Let's pray to the Father and follow the teaching of Jesus on prayer. So we have our Father in heaven, not my Father in heaven, our Father in heaven. Well, we're part of Jesus' team. We're part of God's plan. We're part of the group, part of the army, see, part of the special forces. So our God in heaven, we're part as long with other people. And we're not a lone gun somewhere out here. Our Father in heaven, notice he's in heaven. We're on earth. So we're directing our prayers upward to him. Hallowed be your name. Now, hallowed is a word that's just about fallen out of the dictionary, isn't it? Hallowed is simply an old English word that means to regard as, to treat as, something is actually, in fact, holy. The Bible that we have, it's not just the Bible, it's the holy Bible. It's not just the writings, it's the holy writings. And it says here, hallowed be your name. And of course, in the scriptures, the name really stood for character. And so when we say, may your name be hallowed, we're saying, Lord, we recognize your beautiful, unselfish, totally giving and righteous character. May that be uh, expanded, may be lifted up. May that, may that be the thing that we all uh, seek for and desire. And so that's the first thing is to desire to be like God, like God in the good sense. And then we have your kingdom come. So there's a sense in which God's kingdom is, is existent, it's present, it's here, and yet it hasn't come yet. So it's in the process of coming. And by the way, guess what? You and I are part of the special forces team that's going to instantiate its coming, okay? It's going to come, but it's only going to come through, through actual people, flesh and blood people. Your will be done. So a lot of times we want to be Christians, but just have a little piece of it there and make sure because we don't trust God. Maybe he'll, he'll make me do certain things, but I want my will. I want my will at least on these three things over here. The rest I can be do it God's way, but these, these three things I'm going to do them my way. No, we want God's will to be done and we want it to be done in our lives on earth as it is in heaven. So this is a prayer for the earth to be changed. This is a prayer for, for right doing to prevail on planet earth. This is a prayer, you know, for an invasion of Satan's, the prince of this world, the prince of the power of the air. We're invading that kingdom on behalf of the Lord Jesus. This is how Jesus prayed. This is apparently how John the Baptist's disciples prayed. Guess what? This is how you and I, as the disciples of Jesus, in, the, in these 2020s, very late in Earth's hour, this is how the time and the way for us to pray. In fact, now let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we're looking at the pattern that Jesus gives us, we see a focus not on ourselves, but on, on your Father, on holiness, on your kingdom, and your kingdom being fully established on earth. Please, Lord, use us for this. Transform us and use us, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. So friend, very direct instruction from Jesus Let's follow it. God's blessings be upon you today.